Okay, welcome to my video of uh, tap it or valve adjustment on the F20C S2000. Uh, mine's a JDM spec, but uh, there's no difference between JDM, UKDM, or USDM when it comes to valves, so everything should be uh, pretty okay. Uh, it may look like a daunting job, but actually it's uh, pretty simple. A bit fiddly, but uh, on the whole, straightforward and uh, any enthusiast should be able to do this, save themselves a couple of bucks and uh, certainly do a good job at the same time. Uh, as you can see I've removed the rocker cover and uh, coil packs, all of the various electronics so I could get to the uh, see the camshafts and get to adjust the valves. Uh, there's talk going around that you have to remove the two sensors on the back there that are attached to the rocker cover uh, in order to get it out, but that's just not the case. I managed to get mine out by simply removing the throttle cable here, and uh, yeah, with a bit of uh, persuasion, not much, it uh, it just came out. Right, uh, I'm on my last one now, so uh, as you can see, if I can show you there, the marks on the cam gears are pretty much all the way round which means I'm uh, doing cylinder number two. As you can see if you look at the cam lobes despite me not being the greatest of accuracy with regards to the marks if you look at the cam lobes you can see that they're free of all contact with the actual rocker arms for controlling the valve springs. Now this is essentially what Honda is asking you to do if you follow the manual. Uh, it's asking you to just uh, unload the valves altogether, and then you can uh, accurately do the valve adjustment. Uh, so don't don't worry about being absolutely spot on with your with cranking over the uh, the crank bolt, which is down there, by the way. Uh, all you need to do is make sure you're roughly right. Make sure the valves uh, are unloaded from the camshaft lobes, and then you're good to go.